Hey everyone! I bet you've all heard about the release of Cyberpunk 2077. There was a lot of hype around the release date, with a number of delays, people were even sending death threats to those who work at CDPR because of the release date being postponed. After months of negativity and complaints about the game being delayed, CDPR decided to release it as promised on 10th of December. Almost on my birthday, and I bet that's not a coincidence. So, that was their crucial mistake. As the famous Nintendo Miyamoto Shigeru said, A delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. The game was released and it was a failure. The game was unpolished and unoptimized. Glitches and lags would be all around you. And those who were mad on CDPR for delaying the game got mad on CDPR once again for releasing it too early. <laughs> Please, don't be like those people. So. I've decided to make a game in cyberpunk style, to show my support for the company and definitely not just trying to serve the hype wave. And to be even more in sync with the CTBR devs, I also constrain myself with deadlines. I just like making my life more miserable. But before we start, pause the video and subscribe to my channel. It takes you a second to make my day. Ok, now we can start the project. As I usually do, I started with changing the background color of our scene to something darker. I like working in dark environments, because I'm a shitty artist and in darkness it's harder to notice details, so it means I don't have to worry about small details as much. Also, it makes light more appealing to the eye. As you can see, I made few neon materials, which are very bright and saturated. It is easily done in Unity by adding emission to the material. Then I started working on the main bridge or road, I don't know. Pro tip, if something doesn't look modern and fancy enough, just add light. Um, ok, up to this moment I intended to make the game some sort of beat saber, where enemies fly towards you and you have to defend with a katana against them. Sounds fun, right? But then I remembered about a very small inconvenience. I don't have and never actually had a VR set. <laughs> So... I had to think of something else. While meditating about different ideas, I started slowly making the scene prettier and more futuristic by adding different particle effects. <gasps> I made all the particles using Unity Particle System, a system which allows you to easily create gorgeous and fully customizable particles for your game. First, I was thinking of some holographic looking particles, but then I got carried away and did what I thought just looks cool. That is what I have for now. I think it looks quite trippy, don't you think? Now, let's apply some post-processing makeup onto our little beauty, making it even more pretty. That will do. Once I finished with post-processing, I kinda had an alternative idea for the core mechanic. Instead of the cool katana gameplay, the player will be able to shoot projectiles with his mouse. Aww. Yeah, I know. It is kind of funny drawing using this system, extremely unoptimized and inefficient, but funny. And now the projectiles are moving and actually look like bullets. If you've lasted until this moment, you might have the question, but Sandu, how the fuck is that cyberpunk? And that's a very, very good question. Next question. Okay, okay, let's make it more futuristic. I found this beautiful futuristic Neo City pack made by Kitbash 3D and started adding them to the scene. Initially, they were quite dim, but I changed some of the materials to the neon colors I had and immediately it was looking more like a cyberpunk city. When I finished with that, I quickly made an aiming system that will be red when you're aiming at the enemy and orange when you're not. And lastly, I made it possible to destroy the drones as well as added some explosion particle effects for that. Alright, I think it's time. Let's see how our game plays. So yeah, the video is over and I really hope you found it entertaining. But before I end it, I have an announcement to make. I'm currently working on setting up my Discord server where we could all interact, communicate, joke and much more. 
I'll also post all of my projects there, so if you want to play some shitty games, you'll be able to do that there. But there is one problem. I have no experience with managing Discord servers and I don't know if I'll have time to monitor it all the time. So, if you enjoy my content and have experience with Discord servers and would like to help me, let me know. You can contact me through Twitter, email or even comments down below. I try to answer to all of them. Also, our gang now consists of more than 500 penguins. A few videos ago I was thanking you for 200 subs and today we already passed the 500 threshold. That is mind-blowing for me. For some, this number might not sound as something big, but trust me, it means a lot to me. Your support, kind words, feedback, positivity, all that kept me going forward, kept me trying to make my videos better, and as a thank you, I promise you that I won't stop and I'll continue working and improving my content for you. Thank you. Now the video is actually over. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.